What's up, little M's beauty babes? So right now I'm going to be doing a special FX mermaid makeup look for you guys. Obviously, I already did my makeup, so obviously you know what color I colors I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be mixing a bunch of colors. I wanted to be a different type of mermaid. Um, a lot of people use purple, blue, silver, and I wanted to use green and yellows and stuff like that. So... Before I get started, give this video a fat thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to so always be notified with my videos. Comment what you guys think of this mermaid special FX makeup tutorial and let's get this started. Alright, so I'm going to push my hair back because I am going to be using latex. Put in a little bun like that. Perfect. So now I'm going to go to my liquid latex and I'm going to be making an open wound with tissue. So I'm going to put it on my cheek, the wound. So, now we're going to grab tissue and rip it up into little pieces and then just start applying the tissue. Alright, let that dry. Now we're going to layer it with another layer of latex. Okay. So now we're going to layer another piece of latex. I mean, tissue. So we're going to cut it into little pieces. And then, so we want this to make look like, like a very ripped up wound so we gotta put lots of layers of tissue that way it's nice and thick so whatever extra pieces just go around and rip it latex is so messy like the messiest thing I've ever played with <laughs> of makeup at least All right, now we're going to make another layer. Now we're going to start going outwards more. That way. All right, start ripping. Ripping, ripping, ripping. Rip that. I'm like having such a hard time seeing, so don't mind me. Alright, we're going to do one more layer. We need it nice and thick, that way we can make a hole in the middle. So we're going to do one more layer. Alright. 
latex is done. So then we're going to put one more layer of tissue and let that dry. So we're going to put very small, small pieces. Alright, we're going to let that dry, and I'm going to grab my foundation. Okay, so it's finally dried up nice and hard. So, we're going to start putting the foundation to make it look like my skin tone. Alright, that's all we need. So we're going to go around it. Okay. So notice that some of the pieces are breaking apart. That's perfectly fine, guys. That's what we want. So we're going to go around this whole cheek. Make sure it looks realistic as possible. Alright. Now, we're going to set the powder with a setting powder, obviously. So we're going to grab this brush and use my setting powder. That way it holds in place with the look. Alright. So just rub. Okay. Now we're going to grab these beautiful scissors. And then we're just going to cut a little hole through it. Where is I didn't even make the hole. And you got to be very careful with this, guys, to make the hole. There we go. I'm gonna make a bigger. Okay. There we go. So, we're going to start opening it in the middle, make our way around, oh that looks gross. So we want to make it look realistic so we're going to use snip a little pieces to make it look Stretch it out. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Ew. Okay. Now we're going to add dimension by adding black around it first. I just got to make sure that I have... So we're going to go to my eyeshadow palette, 
And I think I'm going to go to my Morphe because it has a darker black, so. Okay, so I'm going to leave my glasses on. Um, so we're going to go to my Morphe palette, and as I mentioned, around the wound, that way it will look That way it'll look like a real realistic wound by adding some black in it. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So now we're going to move finally to the green and start mixing the colors like my eyeshadow. So, we're gonna I think what we're gonna do Alright. We're gonna add green to this look we're going to use a more shimmery green that way it looks more realistic So, layer that. So now I'm going to move to some browns to give this look a more, like, rustic type look. Like, it, like it's like a heart wound. So, we're going to... Put brown around it. looking good so far okay now we're gonna go back in with this palette and just add some yellow because I did have yellow I can't open it what? who would have known an eyeshadow would have like a lock not me all right so we're gonna go to a little tint of yellow and just give it more of a shimmer this mirror. Alright. Alright. Now we're going to start drawing the gills. Now I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to be hard to see it. So I will be right back. Alright guys, so I am back. So I did draw the fins and I am going to go grab my blood because we want this look to look real as possible like I came out of the ocean with a wound so <laughs> I got my blood gel I love blood I feel like blood always pulls the look together
spray. I'm gonna add blood around this whole thing. Oof. Okay. So we're gonna add blood in more of the thicker parts. That looks so sick. So I want some skin to show like the the latex. So now I'm going to start making more gills on the top of my head and on the side of this face. So we're gonna need a big brush for the green know how we're gonna do this but we're gonna attempt it okay So now we're going to move down this side like we're contouring. So we're just going to add more darker tints. Add some shine. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go get off camera again and make the gills and then I will be right back. So guys, this is the final makeup look. It's very sparkly and then we got the wound. Um, so yeah guys, this is honestly the best work I probably tried to do. I'm not really good with lining, obviously you guys could tell. But I tried my best and I made an open wound. And I made gills, and I thought it came out pretty good. Um, I know I could do better, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a fat thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.